Hello, and welcome to the GRACE podcast series. My name is Denise Brock, and I am the Operations Director for the Global Resource for Advancing Cancer Education, or GRACE. In this podcast series, we interview patients, advocates, and healthcare professionals to provide the most updated information for our community and to highlight important issues facing those dealing with a cancer diagnosis. We hope you find this information valuable. For questions or comments, please visit us at cancergrace.org. Hello and welcome to Grace Breast Cancer video series. My name is Midhavi Gupta. Today we'll be chatting about surgical management of breast cancer. I'm joined by Dr. Jessica Young. Dr. Young is an assistant professor with the Division of Surgical Oncology at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center in Buffalo, New York. She is also a member of National Comprehensive Cancer Network or NCCN Guidelines Panel for Breast Cancer. Welcome Dr. Young, it's a pleasure to have you with us. One of the most common questions that patients ask us is if there is a difference in the long-term outcomes between the breast conservation surgery versus mastectomy, because one of the notions out there is that if patients have mastectomy, if there is any difference in terms of the cancer coming back or the patients living longer. That's absolutely a great question. And one huge myth I think in breast cancer care is that doing more surgery is not, everyone thinks doing more surgery is better when in fact it really is not. So there were a lot of studies uh, quite a few decades ago that actually looked at breast, uh, looked at mastectomies versus doing lumpectomies and doing radiation in addition to lumpectomy. And really they saw that the survival was exactly the same between these two large groups. And so we really, as a standard, considered those to be equal in terms of survival. Um, when we talk about how often breast cancer can come back in this breast, so on the side where you actually have breast cancer now, Um, obviously there's going to be a little bit of difference. So if we take your entire breast off, as we do for a mastectomy, um, I wish I could tell you we got every single breast cell that's out there, but we know that we do leave a little bit behind and there's maybe about a one or 2% chance that breast cancer can come back along the chest wall or the skin after you have a mastectomy. Um, If you do a lumpectomy and have radiation, you're leaving quite a bit of breast tissue behind, but we do know that the recurrence rates are probably about six to 8% on average. Um, which is still a little bit higher than a mastectomy, but really actually in the greater scheme of things, not that much higher. And we also have studies that show that if breast cancer were to come back either after a mastectomy or a lumpectomy and they're treated, it really does not change the survival between the two groups, which is why we can say that survival is really equivalent. That is really important to know. Um, I should also mention a lot of people think that breast cancer can go from breast to breast. In, in reality, we really don't consider it that way. Um, breast cancer is really just in the one breast. And when we talk about a recurrence, we're really talking about coming back on that side. Um, so the opposite breast can get its own breast cancer, but it does not usually get breast cancer from the first breast. So taking the other breast off um, can be helpful in some cases, but it's not really necessary to decrease the chance that it will come back. Thank you again for joining us. This podcast was made possible by the generosity of sponsorship from our friends at Lilly and Exalexis. Please like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Send us feedback, share your story, donate and visit us for more information at cancergrace.org. Thank you for listening.